So today we're in Renford, Chef the pronunciation or spelling of it in the description. <laughs> so we're approximately six miles outside of Glasgow city centre and um, that's the town hall I think, well some sort of public building and we're just going to have a general look around. Nice. Um, Boulevard with flowers in the middle. It's really nice, that. Must be Euro European money. And so they've got the typical sandstone buildings. And there's the British flag, obviously we're in, well we're in Scotland then, the Croatian flag and the Scottish flag. So we're just going to have a general look around. So maybe you're born here. Maybe he wants to move here. Maybe he just knows he wants to see what's here. So the boats are in amazing condition, aren't they, you know? And generally it's a nice layout. There you can buy yourself a kilt. I always think men who wear kilts you know, want to be transvestites. <laughs> oh, God. Want to be... Oh, there it is, look, the name of that bar. Oh, it's actually open. I was thinking, oh god, it's closed down, but no. Looks like a gay bar, but I don't think it is. I'm only taking the pig. So far, nobody's tried to rob me. Nobody's tried to suck my you know what, so it seems a pretty safe place to be. I say the pavements are really nice, aren't they? Sidewalks, as we say in America. Got barbers. Shop smart. Home deliveries. Bargain store. So I think those um, satellite dishes, they look a right mess. Prince Charles once said they look like a carbuncle. I mean, I do agree with them. Why, you know, on one building why you have one, about eight satellites, why, you know, just can't you just have the one, you know? I mean, people fucking get organised, you know, they look a right mess, look at that. Why, well, it's a nice building, but... One thing you notice all these satellite dishes. I'm presuming they're all watching sky. I mean, if they're not even, it's only a little few degrees the other way, you know. They've got some sort of monument, monument here. And uh, I presume something to do with the war, usually these things are, you know. Tend to glorify war. Yes, there we have it. In memory of those gave their lives in the Second World War. And so the names are on it, you know? Obviously. So it's funny, we always look for our own name, don't we, when we look at graves or, you know, you saw a graveyard and think, Oh God, it's my name there, and there it is, Jones. You think, oh God, you know, are they related to me? A bit like Adam and Eve, isn't it? We're all supposed to be related to Adam and Eve, or I think it says in the Quran, 
Ismail and Ishtar. So I think they're, they're all the same yarn anyway. So let's have a look at the buildings. Oh, if you believe it could all be true. You know? So all in all, I would say it was quite a nice place. I mean, it's got lots of traffic, but unfortunately everywhere these days has traffic. You know, unless you're in the, the back of beyond. So I'm like you, I don't know what the next thing I'm going to see is. So there's an interesting building here. Victorian Baths. A hundred years, celebrated hundred years. A Victorian Baths. Let's have a look on it. Well, that sort of lean-to is a bit of a monstrosity, but generally the building's quite a nice looking building. It's like a bell end that, doesn't it? <laughs> There it is, Victorian Bass. Which is actually closed. So there's a nice green area of park across the road. Seems a lot of these like public buildings which have closed down. I'm just going to sneak around the back and see what's going on here. There's a light on there. But let's see what's going on at the back of the building. So, I mean, obviously they're, they're well secured, so you can't get in there. That one has a light on, which is bizarre, which means electric's on. So where's it actually go? So there's the, the latest um, occupier. It's a pigeon. Can we see that pigeon? Oh yes, or she, I don't know the sex of the pigeon, but apparently they've moved in there. So. And you got your bit of graffiti there. It seems to go into a car park. But there's generally building the kids or whoever has smashed the windows. The adults on magic mushrooms. That wild. Car park. So we'll just glance at the front again. Yes, yeah, so definitely the pigeons have taken over. Someone didn't get the pound back for the, on the supermarket trolley. So that's there across the road here. Actually, that building has um, a bricked up window inside, so I really don't know what's actually going on in that building, but it was the Victorian swimming bus. Ferguson Street. <laughs> and so I think there's something under underlying there, undercurrent, whatever you say. So there's a building there which is boarded up. The bottom apartment is anyway. But here is a beautiful park. I love green areas. That's what I like about Germany. Every now and again you have a parky green area in the cities. So I don't know, maybe someone didn't like them and they broke the window, but I'd say there's um, another supermarket trolley. And um, someone's thrown a three piece sweets out. Well, actually, there's one piece of it, doesn't look too bad after that. 
and um, that's all I can say. There's another broken window there. It's very bizarre, isn't it? And another broken window. There's certainly something going on here, isn't it? I was, yeah. Yeah, what you been doing? I was fitting the houses the moment I fitted the town centre. Oh, no, just Why is there so many broken windows? This <coughs> is a dive, mate. <laughs> Train for a cheese on. I wouldn't even stay here. No. I'm off, thank you. So there it is, we'll leave it there, and so thanks for watching, so I think the locals had the last say, please put a like and subscribe, thank you.